Bueno, nos estamos en este momento con Tom Cochran, él es el exdirector de, digital de la Casa Blanca. Lo tenemos acá en el Tech Day de Panamá. Tom, thank you for joining us in the Tech Day Tour. So, I want to know how do you see the future of the impact of the digital transformation in the, in the region, in Central America and all around the world? I think the most important thing to think of is the youth and how they grow up with digital technology and how they expect everything to be digital. Uh, I have two little children and they've known how to use iPads since they were one. Uh, they're going to grow up in a world in which they demand everything be digital and all their experiences be uh, as digital as possible. I used to work in the White House, in the Obama's government. How was your role there? in the digital, uh, in the digital department of the world? Mm -hmm. My responsibility was to make sure that the digital platforms we had for the president were secure, stable, and scalable. Our objective there was to use open source technology where possible uh, and really lead by example using modern digital technology to help amplify the president's message online. How kind of projects you have there in the White mm -hmm. House? So of course there was whitehouse.gov, the main website for the President of the United States. We did that on open source Drupal uh, and Amazon. Uh, but there was also a really important project that we're very proud of called We the People, which was a petition platform that allowed people uh, from around the United States and around the world to petition the President of the United States on issues that were important to them. And if they received enough signatures from their uh, friends, family and peers all around the world, then the president and the administration would give an official response. Uh, so this was a true uh, digital engagement with uh, the people who voted uh, for, or frankly maybe didn't vote for the president, but this was the president for everybody in America. What kind of challenge did you find in the project? I would say the biggest challenges would be people very hesitant to change, uh, people very risk averse, cybersecurity, and people, frankly, not having a deep understanding of what it means to truly uh, digitally transform an organization. Yeah, one thing you say right now is about the security. There's a big challenge in the digital What advice do you give to the people or to the CIOs or the CSOs to confront this kind of challenge? I think the most important thing is to find a path to get to yes, because the answer no is not something that's going to help a business ever. Uh, there's always a path to get to yes, and these are all decisions based upon risk analysis. Uh, what level of risk is tolerant? Uh, what level of risk are you tolerant to? Uh, you should make nuanced approaches to risk. Certain areas are should be more risk uh, acceptable, and some areas should be uh, zero risk environments. The most important thing is to remember that digital transformation, uh, while there's technology at the heart of it, uh, there's something even more important, and that's people. Uh, and if you aren't listening to your people, uh, and that means, as a company, your customers, uh, what do they want, what is the experience they expect? Uh, if you don't listen to your customers, your competitors will listen to your customers and outperform you. Uh, and then on the inside of your company, making sure that you're listening to your employees and your team and taking their good ideas and allowing them to be a, a col collaboratively part of the process of transforming the organization. Yeah, thank you.